Hey everybody, and I'd like to welcome you to another tutorial in the Arc Dev Kit tutorial series. I saw that somebody was having a problem on the uh, Unreal Forum, so I thought I'd tackle that real quick for him. Um, the question he was having was, he's trying to change like uh, an auto turret from electric power to gas power. Um, I'm not really going to go over how to set up the blueprint like to be for the Engram and stuff like that, but I'm going to set up, show you how to set up the blueprint so that the auto turret itself will run directly off gasoline instead of off powered. It, it, this is going to be a nice quick tutorial just so, so you, I can answer the question, but if you guys want me to go in more detail to show how to make like a uh, ammo-less turret and to make a turret that doesn't need anything, etc., just let me know. Uh, if you want to know how to put new bullets in or anything like that, I can do that too. Uh, let me know in the comments. Um, we're just going to jump right into it. Um, we're going to build this in our YouTube folder. And I'm just going to have it as a turret. Once again, I'm just going over the uh, actual blueprint of the turret. I'm not going to go into detail on setting up the engram and everything like that. I'll go over that in another tutorial if you guys want. But this one's just to answer the question on how to change it from electric to gas. So uh, we're just going to type in turret, as you see. We're going to have the blueprint filter set up. We're going to scroll down. We're going to see the base. You should only you should see this one. You shouldn't see this one. I have more of them. Um, so we're going to take this one, and we're going to scroll down till we get to our turret, which is right here. We're going to drag that in. Now you're going to need to do a little bit of other effort to set it up with a primal structure and everything like that. But this is just the actual blueprint for it. So once you have it renamed to whatever you need it to be renamed to, to make this turret run off gas instead of power, you double click it. You're going to type in power. You see how it says active requires power. We're going to take that off. And then we're going to see powered nearby structure template. And we're going to exit out of that. None. We're also going to change this to zero because it's not needed. We're going to backspace out of that. We're going to scroll down. We're going to scroll down to where it says fuel required. Active requires fuel items. So we're going to click plus and we're going to click the arrow. This might take you a second to get into this based on how long your computer feels like processing and all that stuff. We're going to type in gas. You'll see gasoline down at the bottom, private light of resource. You're going to have an interval. You are going to set this to how many seconds you want in between. So 25 is 25 seconds. More, you, I can just put it at 100. So after 100 seconds, it uses one gasoline. Now, if you want to make it so it gives you something for that gasoline, say charcoal, you click the button again. You're going to have charcoal go into where it says fuel items consume give items and we're just going to click charcoal so now when you start to start up your turret now you will put gas in it in its inventory and then you will put charcoal in and it will give you charcoal for every hundred seconds so at this point it is perfectly set up Except for you need auto activate when fueled. You don't want checked. And let's see. Everything else should be good. So we're going to click compile and save. The only other thing that you need to worry about at this point is its inventory. It has an inventory. You see primal inventory. We're going to want to give it a different one. So we're just going to type in inventory. And we're just going to look for like turret. There we go. Actually, we don't even need that. Primal item inventory BP. We're going to copy that. We're going to go up into game. We're going to paste. Get rid of that. We might have... 
You'll want to get rid of the lettering afterwards. And the underscore. You see, this is the prime. We're going to scroll down to where our, our folder is. And the turret. And we're going to drag this in. We're going to make a copy. We're going to go to this. Name it whatever you want to name it. I'm going to just name it something easy to find. Like, two, 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 two. <laughs> I am going to click this one and click delete. I'm going to click this one, click delete. I'm going to add an inventory. I'm going to just look for that two, 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 two. If you don't see it, what you want to do is just strip compile and save. And then you want to exit out of that and reopen it because sometimes it glitches out when you add a new inventory. So if I type in 2222, you see it's right there. There's our inventory. We're going to double click the inventory. We're going to go down to. I think it's limit. No, 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 no. Restrict, maybe? No. So we'll scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. And you see remote add item, only allow item class. You want to get rid of that. Because that'll make it so you can only put bullets in there. You don't want that. Because you need to be able to put gas in there and bullets. So you strip compile and save. You strip compile and save this. And now you have a turret that has an inventory that allows you to put gasoline in it. You also have it so that it's set up to run by gas powered instead of electric. And this should work without a generator and everything now. So I hope this episode was helpful. I will be doing more episodes. Uh, let me know if you need any tutorials in the comments. Catch you guys later.